Hello everyone, my name is Missy Maddie and today I have a very special Valentine's Day build for you. It's not really a Valentine's Day thing but I like to think of it as a romantic lakeside retreat um, and this would be somewhere that I would like to go if I had a Valentine, which I don't. So. Anyway, <laughs> um, let's just get straight into the video. I really enjoyed making this and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so let's just get straight into things. We're going to start by laying the foundation. Um, I'm going to use uh, stone blocks for mine, but you can really just use any, um, what do you call them, like stone sort of brick things. Um, and for this, you're going to need to build it at least two blocks high and at the very minimum um, a 19 by 27 uh, shape, so I'll show you that what that will look like. It'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, 17, 18, 19. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Um, I am going to use world edit in this tutorial just to speed things up for you guys but I will try to um, make it obvious when I do that so I'm going to go set 98 because I believe that's the bricks yeah so you should have a foundation that looks something like that at the very least what I would recommend is building it into whatever landscape that you're using. I'm going to put a couple of pictures up of what that looks like or how it should look. A second point that I'll make is that you want your foundation to jut into whatever lake or body of water that you're working with. Um, just a little bit, again you can use the photos that I've put up for reference, but that is a really important part for this build. Build it into the scenery and into the lake. So once we've done that we can start laying our um, oak supports and beams and what we're going to do is I'll just consult my notes quickly. Um, we're going to make sort of like an L shape um, and we're going to bring it. hang on sorry just bear with me a sec. Um, so we're going to first put in four posts at the front here with a gap of three in between totaling to 13 blocks so we've got one a gap of three one pillar a gap of three one pillar a gap of three totaling to four pillars three gaps of three and if I've done my maths correctly that should make 13 but I very rarely do my maths correctly so <laughs> yeah um, on this corner here, this is where the L shape is going to get formed, so you're going to count back um, three, one, two, three, and on this fourth piece we're going to place a pillar. Um, we're just marking things for now, and then we're then going to go three posts out, totaling to 12. So one, two, three, post, one, two, three, post. So you should have it looking like this so far. Um, and then for this back part, we're going to go 13, which is um, a pattern of four posts. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. <clears throat> just be careful. I think I say this in all my builds, but just be careful to make sure you do count three and not four in between these things because it'll disrupt the window placement later on. So. For this back section, we are going to do um, 25 total with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 posts. So it's just that same boring pattern, 1, 2, 3, post, 
One, two, three, post. One, two, three, post. One, two, three, post. One, two, three, post. And if you've done it correctly, it should line up neatly with their front piece. And then um, you're going to fill in 17 blocks from there, which is um, five pillars. Um, it shouldn't be too hard as long as you count your one, two, three pins correctly. It should be pretty um, easy to match this last part up. So you've already got all like the foundations in, which is, in my opinion, it's like the hardest part. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is um, bring up the supports. We're going to do two levels and each level is comprised of five high. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to repeat that on all the posts we've just made. I'm sorry if it's like, how do I say this? I probably should have just brought them up to five pillars high as we were laying them, but I don't want to confuse anyone because I, I tend to I feel like I don't do a good job of explaining <laughs> my tutorials. So um, those are five high. And then on the fifth block, um, we're going to run a support beam all around the perimeter of the pillars that we've made. So it'll look something like that. You can see here that um, where the pillar, pillar intersects with the beam, um, I've made sure that the pillar takes precedence over the beam, if that makes sense. So the pillar is, the vertical pillar is cutting into the horizontal beam, is what I'm trying to say. So it's not a really important detail, but it is a detail nonetheless that I get a little bit, um, what's the word, attached to, obsessed with? I don't know. So essentially I'm going to cut out me doing the rest of this but just continue on bringing your pillars up five high and then on that fifth high block you're going to run a horizontal beam all around the perimeter that this is creating. So I've got to this stage, um, the next step we're going to do is we're essentially just going to repeat that whole thing again but we're going to stack that frame um, the same frame directly on top of that. So we're going to count um, from this horizontal beam level, so five blocks up from the foundation. So we are now getting somewhere. We have all our um, supports in um, and that's looking good. The next thing we're going to do is fill in the um, walls. <laughs> forgot what they were called for a second. Um, I'm going to use oak planks for this because it's supposed to be like a wooden lake house. I feel like that's just really romantic and nice. I don't know. Um, so basically you're just going to um, fill in this t entire um, piece with um, oak plank walls um, so the oak walls will sit neatly in behind the support frames that we've just built. Um, I am going to go ahead and do this on world edit, um, otherwise you just fill it in by hand. It shouldn't actually take too long. If you're using world edit, um, I'll show you how the command to do this. So um, you're going to click this uh, front corner at the bottom here. Oops. And then I think we'll go, we'll just continue this block along. And we're going to bring this right up to the top and we're going to set our second position at the top here and you're going to go slash slash walls and the code is five the block ID is five rather um, and then we're going to hit this same block here and bring it to this bottom section and do the same walls five I feel like I may have done that wrong Oh no, that's all good. Um, you can either keep this intersecting internal wall or you can cut it out just for, um, I guess, like making it easy to understand or see the shape. I'm going to cut it out quickly, just like so. Um, and for those doing it without world edit, it should end up looking like this. Very simple, very basic. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in our floorboards. So we're going to leave it stone on the bottom 
and then we're going to um, find where um, so the, the first floor, let me just <laughs> gather my thoughts, um, it will intersect with the outer beam. So what I like to do is just smash a block in to mark it on the inside, just like that. Oh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Um, yeah, and so you should have a total of four, one, two, three, four blocks underneath it. Um, and then I'm just going to run this all the way over here, one, two, three, four. So on that fifth block high. And again, if you're using world edit, um, follow this step. So we're going to go slash slash set five. Otherwise you can just fill it in by hand again and it shouldn't take too long. It's not a super big space. I feel like if you were dedicated enough, you could probably um, make this in survival as well. I know when I was younger, I used to have the sort of motivation to do this stuff in survival, but not anymore, <laughs> really not anymore. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to get some glass panes. You can use whatever panes you've got. I like to use the brown stained glass pane and I'm using the Mizuno 16 craft texture pack. Um, but whatever texture pack you're using, just do your favorite, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, and for our window patterns, in every single frame that we have built, we're going to cut in the same thing, and it's going to be a one by three sort of rectangle like that with um, one block on the bottom. So it'll look just like that, and we're just going to do that same pattern all the way around. Um, the only exceptions actually are for these door sections, which will be in the middle here, just like that. Um, and also we'll go a door up here as well, sorry about that. So when you're creating a space for a door, you will put one window at the top and um, leave a 1x2 space directly underneath. Um, I'll just put a door in now so you can see how that looks. And for this build, I'm going to use spruce doors just to give it a more rustic look and to really provide a nice contrast against the oak. Um, feel free to just use oak doors if that's easier. I know if, you, if, if you're doing it in survival, it can be kind of tricky finding like contrasting woods if you're in a single biome. So yeah, and anyway, once you've done those, you can just continue around with your um, window patterns. The reason why we put the um, doors there is because we're going to build a little balcony um, on that first story. So this one being ground floor and this one being first floor. Yeah. <laughs> the only exception to that is when we fly over to the right side, so where the L shape gets indented. Um, you should see a set of three frames and we're going to build a little um, sort of side door, back door type thing. Um, just, you know, in case there's a fire. <laughs> I don't know. And then there'll be a small staircase leading down there as well, just for like land accessibility. Cool. So now that all the windows are cut in, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to work on our little balcony. So we're going to take some oak blocks um, and we're going to count one, two, three, four, five blocks out like so. Um, and then on this fifth block, we're going to um, actually make it a pillar. So there should be four blocks. Have I done this right? Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, so one, two, three, four blocks and then connecting to this pillar here. Um, and then one, two, three, and then basically when you add the next pillars, you're going to want to line them up with the existing pillars we've made already. Only these should stick out from the foundation and sort of, um, amalgamate. Is that how you say that word? I can never remember. Um, but sort of blend into the landscape, um, just like so. Um, you'll be able to see that in the cinematic videos that I've put in at the start, um, but yeah, just matching those up and then um, bringing it up so it's one higher than the horizontal beam that we've created. 
I'm sorry if that's confusing. I really am trying to be like accurate with my descriptions this time, but yeah, we'll see. Um, so that's the basic frame of the balcony, just like that. And then super simple, we're just gonna fill in this space here with some <coughs> excuse me, uh, some oak planks, just like this. Um, yeah, may as well. Oh! I really don't know why I did that. I have no excuse for that. I'm sorry. So it should be looking something like this with the floor in. Um, I'm now going to take some spruce fence rather than oak fence. Again, just to provide a bit of contrast against the lighter wood. I feel like that looks kind of nice. And wrap that all the way around. I feel like I'm going to have to kill these guys down here. Problem solved. <laughs> okay, anyway, ignoring that, we should now have our balcony in, and as I was saying, I'm using um, spruce for the fence there. Um, we're now going to put in a little detail that sort of conflicts with exactly what I just said, but basically, we're going to get some oak fence and run that all around on this first story here. We're going to run it all around underneath the windows directly. Um, for this step I'm using oak specifically because I want this to sort of blend in. So it's almost invisible to the eye but it just adds a really small, almost textural touch um, of detail. So it's these things that, um, in my opinion, they make builds um, stand out a lot more. Um, you can't necessarily see the details, but um, you're aware of them, and yeah, I don't, I don't know if that makes sense, I hope it does, but, and on the balcony here you want to do it too. Yeah, so it's looking good so far, um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some dirt, I have a really southern accent, so, um, and put some dirt under the windows like that. And then I'm going to get some trapdoors. I might use oak trapdoors for this just so they look properly like planter boxes. Does that look nice? Yeah, whatever, we'll keep it like that. You can put whatever flowers you like in there. Because it's Valentine's Day, I'm going to use, um, I think I'm going to use some peonies and roses and I will do whatever. Yeah, just like that. Just like that. I feel like that looks pretty. Anyway, um... We're now going to go in with an extra little step that you don't necessarily have to do, um, but I like to do. It's to add a little bit of spice to the foundation that we've got. So you're just going to grab your some stone brick stairs or whatever you made your foundation out of. And you're going to run a perimeter of upside down stairs directly coming out from it. You may also want to um, smash in the sort of corners just to give it a nice bevel um that's literally just your preference so um i'm gonna go in and finish that and then i'll show you what it's supposed to look like so that's just what it looks like with um beveled edges and that upside down steer thing i think it looks nice because bearing in mind this will be sort of intersecting with a lake um 
yeah and it just sort of allows a gap for the water to lap onto the foundation which I think looks pretty um yeah so what's next um I think we're gonna have to go into my least favorite part of any build and that is the roofs I hate making roofs but anyway it's got to be done um so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to put a cap over the top of this level here sort of like a flat ceiling yeah so you want to build a cap like this um, and that's what the roof is going to sit on um, for the roof I'm going to use spruce uh, spruce planks and spruce stairs just like so and the way we're going to do this is we're basically going to do the most basic um, pattern for building roofs is starting on that starting um, placing upright spruce stairs on that level of oak planks we've made and jutting out one from the foundation we're just going to carry on building um, a sort of just stacking stairs on top of each other super basic nothing nothing to it it's literally just stacking stairs when you get to the part where it juts out from the foundation um, use a full block um, underneath the stairs if that makes sense so when you are putting your stairs in um, it should look like actually no sorry um, so when you're stacking the stairs, make sure that if you're using full blocks underneath to just speed up the process, that you remove them afterwards um, so that the stairs are touching only by this sort of diagonal corner, that really thin corner there. Um, otherwise, it's going to muck up the um, detailing at the front that we do. So I guess what I'm saying is when I build the roofs, I put in a full block and then position the stair on top like that. Um, if you're doing it like that, smash out the full block. So yeah, there's not really much more to say on this. Just um, keep stacking them um, just like so. I hate doing this. Most of the builds I do are like roof centered as well, so I just spend most of my time stacking stairs on top of each other and I just can't stand it. Can't stand it. That's why I've gone for like the most simple roofing pattern today. <laughs> but yeah, um, a tip is that you put in the middle um, the middle pillars so the part where the sides intersect and the way you tell this is just by finding the center of the build underneath that the roof is going on top of and for us it's really handy because that lines up directly with the door and we can see exactly how the roof is going to fit on um, so we can start over on this other side again overlapping one by the foundation foundation So this is what it looks like um, to sort of weave it into the rest of the build we're going to grab some oak logs and we're going to smash that block there up and just basically bring the um, pillars beneath up so that they reach the roof that we've built um, you're then going to want to smash out this little overlapping cap that we've made and it should expose this pillar just bring that up by one just to smooth things out a little once you've done that super simple you're just gonna go in behind the um, oak pillars that we've made you can probably cut out this part should look something like this and just like we did on the downstairs floors we're just going to go behind the pillars and fill that all the way in with oak planks just like so Um, for the top piece here, we're just going to place a block on top, just like so. 
run that along and I'm also going to add a um, upright steer facing into the build and um, just like so. So it's looking like that, a little thin, so um, we're then going to go and add some upside down steers to all of the sort of connecting steers just like that. When you get to the middle, super simple, just put in an upside down steer on the um, uh, on the wall, like the um, oak planks. I'm sorry, I'm really tired. Um, so it should look something like that now. And then the last thing is we're going to cut in a nice big window, just like that. And we're going to put our glass in. And that's essentially how you integrate the roof into the build and it should look a little something like this. Um, to deal with the L shape that we've created, it's pretty um, simple. You basically just follow the exact same pattern. It should all line up with um, the front piece if you've done it right. The only difference is the stairs are going to be facing um, uh, how do I say this, rather than sideways, they're going to be facing towards the front, um, and you can see what I'm, I mean in the video, but um, just like this. And again, I'm going to find the midpoint of this build, which is this middle window here, and I'm just going to bring up a nice big pillar, just to help me mark out where... Um, how far to bring up each side of the roof so that side's looking good um, basically for the back side here we're just going to continue along to the edge and intersect this corner with this corner so just continue both sides until they intersect at this corner I'm gonna do that off camera and show you how it should look um, but yeah it should be fairly intuitive I hope and so the roof is officially done. That's what it looks like from the back side. And this is what it looks like at the front. Um, so hopefully that made sense. Like I said, I'm really bad at explaining how to do roofs. So I apologize for that. Um, we're now going to get into the lighting. Um, a little bit of detailing on the lighting. Um, let me see. Yeah. So we're going to need some spruce fence, chain, um, a lantern, yeah, I think that's what we're going to need. Basically, the way I've done it, um, the lighting isn't really important for you to follow along with, but the way I've done it is I've put a spruce um, fence, uh, sort of, Oh my gosh, my brain just went blank. In line with the oak fence that we placed before. And I'm going to hang a chain off of that and a lantern off of that chain. Just like so. And I'm going to do that on this pillar as well. Just like so. And then I'm going to move on to the balcony and do the exact same thing. So that's all the lighting done. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut in the dormer roof that um, you can see in the original photo. This is just purely decorative. It doesn't have a function, unfortunately. I just realized I've made a massive mistake. Oh no, we're good. So for the dormer roof, you're going to find these two window points. Um, so here and here. And then you're going to go upwards and count three stairs upwards. So, okay, let me rephrase. So it should be three stairs up and in line with the two windows there. We're then going to bring them up to the height of the um, sort of, what do I call it, this top piece of the roof there and we're going to run a beam so that it intersects with the roof and a beam at the front point here. So it should look something like this. Um, 
I did realize before that I got the initial measurements wrong. Um, the house still works and still looks good. It's just in the cinematic shots, it was like longer by one frame. Um, that was a mistake I made in my notes, unfortunately, but it still all works. So yeah, sorry about that, but um, so we're going to do the same again. And so you should have a frame that looks like this. Um, the next step we're going to do is fill in the walls with it. Um, well, I say walls very loosely because they're purely decorative. Um, and they're going to sit in between, in, sorry, in behind the pillars here. Um, and yeah, just smash out the stairs where necessary. It should make a um, really small gap so like we're talking a one one block wide gap but like I said this is this is really decorative um, and it will look something like this so you should end up with something that looks like this you're then going to get some oak fence and run it along the top underneath this beam here um, you can do it on the sides, don't have to, you don't really see these sides, but um, yeah. And then I did smash in a window block here, but let's just ignore that for now. Oops. And now we're going to do the roof of our dormer, and similar to what we did um, on the main build, we're just going to um, cap this piece off at the front, at the top. Oh my gosh, it's getting worse. Um, and just fill that in with oak planks, just like so. Be looking something like this. And then we're going to go back in with our spruce stairs. And we're going to do the exact same pattern that we did before. Um, and we're going to just stack them. Stack them just like so. Um, again, we're going to mark in our center point, which is here, just so we know not to go higher than that on each side. On this last piece, you're just going to place an upright stair facing um, towards the front of the build. Uh, yeah. And then to sort of build the um, roof into the main dormer frame, we're going to cut this part, run our um, pillars up, actually we're going to cut out this beam here I think, yeah we'll cut out the beam, sorry if, um, about that folks, um, and just as we have been doing we're going to fill it in with our oak planks and we're going to place some upside down spruce stairs to thicken the border of the roof just like that and then we're going to cut in a nice big vertical window to give an illusion of like extra height to it um, and I'm then going to go in with my brown panes just like so just like so um, you can add some lights here as well if you want. Um, I think I'm going to do that by just placing two oak stairs at the top with um, a lantern and a chain. Yeah, I think that'll be nice just because it is getting kind of high up. Yeah. Cool, I'm happy with that and then just do exactly the same at the front so it's really pretty much done to be honest um the only thing we need to do is add in our little chimney of course which is my favorite part i love making the chimney i feel like it just adds so much to the build but um anyway i don't really have a specific place to place it um you're just going to want to fly to the back of the build to do it and just place it somewhere in here i'm just going to eye it and go right here you want it to sort of be quite close to the dormer though so mine's gonna look like that um and you're gonna make a four a two by two block sorry um square sorry and then you're just gonna build it up 
like so. So once you have it like this, um, we're going to do our sort of like crooked chimney type thing. So I'm going to put two upright stairs there with two blocks in behind it. And then I'm going to go with two upside down stairs. And then on this new space that we've created, place um, a two by two square of stone blocks on top, just like that. So just make sure you've sort of got it at a good height and the important thing to do is to make sure you view it from the ground to make sure it's not too high. So I'm going to take some height off of that there. Yeah, I think that's fine. And then the last thing is you're going to add in a perimeter of upside down stairs all the way around and smash out that two by two square and add two campfires like that. I only add two because I think the four produces too much smoke and it doesn't look as good. So that is essentially the lake house build complete. Congratulations! So the next portion of this um, video will be the interior, tu uh, not tutorial, sorry, tour. Um, I was going to try and do a tutorial for the interior, but I just find it way too hard. I just, it wasn't making any sense. So I thought I'll just show you around what I've done and then hopefully you can get some inspiration on how you could do it. So this is the ground floor um, kind of lounge area. I've just got a wee sort of open fire, some couches. Um, a little faux tree and of course the cat picture in the corner here um, and through this gap here is the kitchen area um, the fire is really good for cooking as well um, as you will probably know you can cook potatoes on there it's really fun um, this is the kitchen dining area again we've got a fake tree oh I'll have to go back and fix that. You can see my, my bathroom is dripping in here. <laughs> Whoops. Um, and I've just got a wee table and my kitchen is up this way. I've got tons of storage, a, um, a brewing, brewing stand and also just a little sink. And I made this little like oven thing using a hopper and a just a black stone wall so I don't know I feel like it looks cool but it, it could look really dumb I don't know leave a comment and tell me which you think it is um, and then there's also this little back door side door thing here that just gives the house a little bit of a, a land entrance because otherwise you'll have to um, reach the entrance via boat which is kind of tricky if you're having guests over not that I'm having guests over because that's Minecraft <laughs> and I don't have any friends that play Minecraft so that kind of sucks. Anyway, um, we'll go up here to the bedroom and sort of second lounge area. We've got my stairs. I hate making stairs. I always muck it up really bad. So when we come up here, I'm just going to make it um, daytime just so you can see a little bit of um, we come up here and we've got this sort of like reading nook, um, big tree again and then I've got these sort of couches set up with a little coffee table and the idea is that you'd play like some board games or drink your tea or I don't know, eat cupcakes, do whatever you do in a romantic lodge. Oh, I sure wouldn't know. <laughs> um, and then I've just got some chests here for storage. This part of the build also leads onto our lovely balcony, which is just pretty nice scenery if you ask me. Just the nice lake and some fields and trees and yeah, that's pretty nice. And we've got some lanterns, it's not important. So let's go back in here. Um, I've made an octopus chandelier as well, those are like my favourite. I call it an octopus, but it's not really an octopus because it doesn't have eight lanterns. But we'll ignore that for now. 
forever. <laughs> Just pretend, okay? Um, and in here is, of course, the romantic bedroom. I really wanted to do something quite unique for bed, so I put up these lovely fairy lights and flowers and the candles. I've got some fencing around it to sort of just frame it and really draw it in as the centerpiece of the room. Um, I've got the two beds there for cuddles and stuff, so it's super cute. And again, <laughs> you can tell I really like my faux trees. I kind of just didn't know what else to put in that corner. Um, and we've got some storage up there. This little door leads into the bathroom, which is what was dripping in the kitchen before, so I'll need to fix that. Um, we've got the little toilet, faux toilet there. Um, and then I've got my sink, which just looks like this. Some towels, some more candles, and a nice roomy bath for anyone who wants to have a bath. Because that's what you do in baths. I don't know, <laughs> I'm really tired. Um, but yeah, that's essentially the um, interior that I've done. Again, just use that as a bit of inspiration. I'm sorry I can't um, figure out how to make a proper tutorial. It's just too complicated and yeah, I, I didn't want to like get super confused doing it. I don't know. Anyway, um, so that concludes today's um, building tutorial. I really hope you guys liked it. I enjoyed making it. Um, happy Valentine's Day, whether you've got a valentine or you're single just enjoy it enjoy the flowers enjoy the discounted perfumes i know i have but yeah have a lovely day and don't forget to like and subscribe see ya